Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. Today I have been making some abstract backgrounds for the, not for the, with the jelly plate. So this one's not so abstract, but that's what started it, trying the different colours. These are meant to be flowers, but they look like sea creatures. Then I put out the script stamp, so that then led to this. And this is actually a book page image with hieroglyphics. And then this has been the latest, which is, I feel that's the most abstract and I feel that the paint's grey. I should not have used the paint's grey in the background. I should have used either a much darker or a much lighter colour. So I'm hoping that this will be wonderful. So I'm going to start off with ultramarine blue. So I'm putting it on, but I'm going to take a lot of it back off. Oh, I like the way that's that wasn't intended to be a blurred edge, but it's actually worked out well. So I'm putting this one on at a different angle. that blue is here to stay. Right, some stencils. I think the blue may have dried faster than I anticipated it would. I actually like the way it's working out because it's given more of a blurred edge. Which is quite hard, I suppose, to create on the jelly plate. Depending on what you're using. worry about if it's dry or not magenta
going to get another sheet. There. Oh, like it. Here's my numbers. These are showing up really well, actually. Which I'm very pleased about. Right, we'll need to let that dry. I don't think the lie looks strong enough. I think I'm going to use the burnt sienna. I mean, you could use ink. I'm just using all acrylic paints. Not everybody has ink. I only bought ink because of junk journals as well. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't use ink otherwise. Ho oh. ho! Using the brayer to put it on. That works. Right, the next one I will use my paintbrush with and my roll of masking tape. I know it looks a bit blue, red and yellow, but...
Right, so this one, I'm just going to go around the outside. Just, I don't want the yellow to be overpowering. Might put another couple on with a little washi tape. Right. I'm going to make three vertical lines. Right, I didn't put enough thought into that. How am I going to... Right, we'll just do them a wee bit at a time. And I'm going to use my pen three. Don't need a lot. But I want to kind of drag this so it fades to a finish. Oh, that looks really good. Right. Now, I do want these very close together, so... I, I tore this sheet into four pieces because I, want, I don't want the edging to be the same on the lines. I think that one's going to be taller. Right. That's a, that's, it wasn't taller. <laughs> End up. I like that. Right, and I'm going to do the same horizontally, but these are going to be much shorter. Much shorter. That's not even left a mark, has it? No. I need to be less scared of it. Come on, Kirsten, you're not worried. I feel like I'm going to ruin it.
there. Okay, so now that's dry, I am going to put on the last one to lift it. I'm using the pearlescent because it's the kind of clearest colour I have. Although I could use white, I suppose, or titanium buff, but... I use the metallics all the time, so I have faith in them. Now, I would let this sit for a good 10 minutes before lifting it. Right, I have faith this is going to work very well because I'm actually using a decent piece of paper for it. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Oh, there it is. Wow. I think it looks amazing. It's obviously very basic as abstract art goes. However, it was my first kind of... I think that the ultramarine blue, I wonder if I'd done that in the Payne's grey, it would have gave it more of a... What's the word? Mature look. I think the ultramarine blue with the magenta and the yellow oxide has gave it a bit of a kind of it's a bit too colourful however I really like it so I'll be making a lot more of these but wow yes so um, I hope you enjoyed that and um, I hope to see you soon and thanks very much for watching.